Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would do something that I get asked quite a good bit about on my Snapchat which will be right here and that is what shadows should I buy from Inglot? How do the Inglot shadows work? What's the rating system? What colour shadows go best with my eyes? So I thought I would answer all those questions in one very convenient video and this is going to be my Inglot eyeshadow collection. So let's start off with the most important question. What's Inglot? So basically Inglot is a makeup company that comes from Poland and there's about 15 stores here in Ireland. So Inglot is kind of in between drugstore and high end. It's not really high end prices but it's high end quality but more drugstore prices which is why it's kind of in between. So a question I get asked a lot is how do the eyeshadows work? What's the deal with the eyeshadows? So all of Inglot's eyeshadows work on what we call a freedom system. Basically the idea behind the freedom system is that you choose exactly what you want. So there's no buying pre-made palettes where you're only going to use a handful of colours and waste the rest. Every colour is picked by you. So you pick the size palette you want, you pick the colours you want to go in it and how many colours you want to put in it. You can start off with just two colours and build it up over time or you can fill it all in one day. It's up to yourself. So I have a few different palettes. I have about five and these are all 10 square palettes so they all fit 10 eyeshadows. Now the palette alone is 14 euro and each individual shadow is six. They do have rainbow shadows as well, which are little trios. Those guys are eight euro. Um, so I'm just going to jump into it and show you guys what kind of shadows I have. And I'll also talk about my favorite ones. And there's also so many more eyeshadows I want to get personally. I just haven't got a chance to get them yet. So these are the ones I have for the moment. And I've been collecting these for about two and a half years now, since I found out about the brand. And ever since I was in makeup college, I've been collecting these because they are so affordable. So the first palette I'm going to talk about is this guy here. So all the Inglot Freedom System palettes, they're all magnetic. The top just slides off and this is what the palette looks like. So this is actually a collection of eyeshadows. I bought every colour in the collection and this is known as the What A Spice collection. So this is new enough to Inglot Ireland and um, it just launched there around Christmas time and it's gorgeous like autumnal colours. So you've got like your bright kind of red and then a deep purple into your kind of more oranges and mustardy colours. Then you've got your cranberries, your kind of pinky toned colours. It's an unreal palette. I use this all the time. Even in work I use it so so much. They're all warm toned colours which is something Inglot didn't have for a very long time. So this is that. So that's the colours there. I'll also have everything linked down below as well so you guys can go and check it out. So I think by far this is one of my favourite palettes. Um, all together including all the shadows and including the palette it works out at about 74 euro which isn't too bad. So that's that guy. The next palette I have is kind of a random one. It's got like a few golds, a few cranberries, a few oranges. Um, it's just because I haven't really sorted the palette out yet. So yeah, I've got a mix of like coppers, cranberries, oranges, things like that. I will also do close-ups of all of the shadows as well with the numbers as well so that you can pause it and look at them properly and take screenshots and things like that. So this is the palette here, we've got like a champagne, then we have like a grey, then we have a cranberry. Now I did drop this palette and all the shadows fell out so they're not in the right places um, because I do have the numbers on the back. Next palette I have is another random one, I don't really reach for this one that much. There's only one or two colours in here that I actually use. This palette, the colours I mostly use are this top one here which is a beautiful champagne colour, perfect as an inner corner highlight. That's 395 and then the one next to it is a bright yellow, that's number 60. And they're the ones I kind of use the most out of this palette, I don't really touch the rest. Next palette we have is my Neutrals palette. So in this one I have like all my neutral browns and some greys as well. This is like my cool toned palette so you can see 
they all have like a grey kind of undertone to them except this guy here which is kind of a ready undertone. And then the last palette I have is my pinks and purples. Personally I love pinks and purples because they go with green eyes, they look unreal with green eyes um, and I have green eyes so I wear this a lot. So that's that guy. It's more of a colourful palette. So now getting on to colours that I think suit different colour eyes. So like I said for green eyes you're definitely better off sticking with your pinks and your purples and your cranberries. So something like this kind of palette would really really complement your eye colour. So now on to blue eyes. So what complements blue eyes is your cranberries, your coppers, your oranges, your rustic kind of colours. So something like this palette and also something like the Wasp Spice Collection. So those kind of colours are really going to bring out your blue eyes. Um, and if you're going to go for one of them, I definitely recommend the Wasp Spice because it's so universal and so beautiful. And then for brown eyes, you guys have the look of the draw. You can pick literally whatever colour you want to go with. Browns work with everything. So if you want to rock a yellow smoky eye, you do it girl. So that was it guys. Those are my Ingla eyeshadows and my recommendations as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see any more videos like this then definitely let me know down in the comments below. I can also do my Ingla mint slash glitter collection if you guys would be interested in seeing that just let me know and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me and also give this video a little thumbs up and I'll have all my social media links down below if you guys want to have the chats or anything like that or if you have any video requests then hit me up and let me know and I'll chat to you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Yeah I know they do have these in a few different colours and pennies. I'm not sure if they still have them. I got this around Christmas time so I'm not sure if they still have them. But yeah let's just dive right into it. So it has a pocket here on the front and then the main pocket as well. So I'm going to go into this front pocket first.